and that would be this pocket right here. That's also going to be zero. This number that we're coming from is going to have to be double the number that we're shooting at to be a perfect V. So let's do that pretty quick here. I'm going to take ball in hand and I'm going to see this is 10 and a half. That's, too long. That's not enough. This would be 11 and 5 and a half. It would be right there. And remember, zero is right where these two would meet coming in to here. It's not here. This is a zero that you would think, but when it takes that English off the rail naturally, the, the, the far side of the rail grabs the brake and throws it a little bit to the right. Zero is where these two rails would meet. So when it's coming at zero, it might hit a little bit of this rail coming in at this short angle. At the deeper angles, it'll hit zero where they meet, which would be right in the middle of the pocket. But these angles here, you might hit a little bit of rail before you hit the pocket, but that's okay. That's perfectly normal. So here we're coming from 11 and 5 and a half. 11 away from that pocket, 5 and a half away from the other pocket. 1.1 and half a diamond. A little 5.5. Center ball. Center ball because you're straight on. You don't need much English. The rail's not putting much English on it. You don't want to change the, ac the natural action that it wants to take. We're going through this pocket real, we're going to do these real fast. This is 16 at 8. 1.6 away from the pocket at 8 tenths away from that pocket. I can't screw up here. If I go right here, 14 at 10, that isn't half of, that's not half of this. Through the middle of the ball, when I move my cue, when I get to 16, through the middle of the, of the 9 ball, 16 is pointing at 8 when I go through the middle of the 9 ball. A little bit of a right at zero, just like it's supposed to. There's 20 at 10, that's no good. We're going to go through the middle of the two ball. There's 22 at 11. 21 at 11 at 10 and a half, really. Soft pocket speed, just like you're playing one pocket, 22 at 11. A lot of English, let it take. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Here we go with this 25, 26, 27 at 13 and a half, right in here. It's 15 and a half from, 15 from zero. If you go right here at 15, you see that's no good. 25 at 15, and that's not, 15 is not half of 25. So you keep moving it. You're at 27 at 13 and a half. That's the perfect 50 yard line. Twenty-seven at thirteen and a half. Pocket speed, nice and smooth. <laughs> well, we blocked the pocket. Playing one pocket or eight ball, that's pretty good shot. Twenty-seven at thirteen and a half. Here we go. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand. After the ball disappears, keep your balance there. Here we are at Dublin. Thirty at fifteen is no good. Thirty, thirty-three at sixteen and a half is good, right there. Thirty-three away from zero. Sixteen and a half away from that zero. Here we are. We're good again. Fast and loose. Relax. Get comfortable. Stroke it till it feels like you're going to do just what you want to do. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Here we go. This is 40s right here. 40 at 20 is no good. Here's 39 at 19 and a half is right in there. That's good. At diamonds. From diamonds, at diamonds. Pocket speed. Fast and loose, relax, get comfortable. Pocket speed. If you're playing one pocket, you either block the pocket or make eight balls the same same thing. It's 40 at 20. It's, this is speed 45 here. This would be 44 at 22. 
and we're cool. Fast and loose, just pocket speed. Relax, get comfortable. Pocket speed. Oops. Well, you get the idea. I don't know what that was. I have no idea what that was, but I can put it there. 44, 22, you want to make, make it? Okay, let's do it. They won't see the difference here. 44 at 22. This is 40, 45. It's like 44. 44 at 22. Pocket speed, relax, get comfortable. Stay down to the count of 3,000 after the ball disappears, which is very tough. But it's very good. In the long run. Oh, block the pocket. Now you got the idea. That's perfect. You're playing eight ball or one pocket. Very tough to take out. You block the pocket. If the other guy's got balls here, he's dead. If that's the eight, he's dead. Okay, 11 at five and a half. Keep ball in a straight line. Take ball in hand. Let's see how the table plays. Center ball because we're straight on. There we go. It's 16 at eight. Right here. A little left hand English. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, stay down, James. Okay, here's 22 at 11. Right in here. Coming from 22, shoot at, shooting at 11 on the first rail. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand. After it disappears, stay down, stay down, stay down. There we go. Twenty-eight at fourteen. Two point eight away. One point four away. Make the adjustment right here. Pocket speed. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Thirty-four at seventeen. We're right there. Fast and loose, relax, get comfortable. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Change the balance. It's forty at twenty. That's too high. To the middle of the ball. It's like thirty. 3.9 away at 19 and a half away from that pocket. Here we are, right there on the money. Oh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. If that's President Bush, for, that's, I'm not here. I'm too busy to talk to him. So we're at, this is 40, 45, we're at about 44, 44 at 22. 44 away from that pocket, 22 away from that pocket. Oh, pocket speed, how sweet it is. Perfect for eight ball, perfect for one pocket, perfect for nine ball if you're gonna shoot if you want to shoot that ball hard, you just go one, aim one-tenth longer. One-tenth longer is all it needs. Okay, now I'm going to show you how kicking and banking are identical. Only when we kick the, with a cue ball, we're going to put a half a tip to a maximum two tips of English. And usually when we're banking, we're going to use one tip to three tips of English and pocket speed. We can shoot this pretty firm with English. You can never put as much English on the object ball as you can on the cue ball. You can't mass the object ball, but you can mass the cue ball. So naturally, you can put much more spin on the cue ball than you can the object ball. So it requires less English to make the same kicks. Here I'm coming from the second diamond at the first diamond. Just for an example, I'm going to go from one at two with a quarter tip, left center English, firm, scratch in the pocket. It's just like banking. Same exact, second diamond at the first diamond. This is zero, that's zero again. I'm going to move up. I'm going to go 40 at 20, which we just did in the banking, the one rail banking system, just to show you how it works.
60 at 30 now. There's a six diamond up at the third diamond up from zero. It's 60 at 30. That's good though. You can do a lot in this table. Playing for money, you can do a lot. 60 at 30. We're going to count that. 80 at 40. This is the eighth diamond right here. This rear was extended to here. To here would be the eighth diamond. This is the fourth diamond in back of the pocket. Eight away to at four away goes right in front of that point. We use one and a half tips of running English here. Medium speed. Swish. There you go. 97 right here at 48 and a half up here. Medium speed. That never lies to me. When you extend this diamond over here and you extend these out, those, those diamonds never lie. If you want to find out where 100 is, just extend out two diamonds here and look from 50 back at the second diamond here and you'll find out where the 100 is. And it comes into here. So when you come from 100 and it comes into here, it comes 100 at 50, it's right here. Just as about, say, three and a half inches past this diamond is 100 at 50. This would be 104, 110, 110 and 55. 55 away from that pocket. This is 110 away from the opposite corner pocket. We already went around the horn here. This is 110, 110 and 55. 110 and 55. Okay, James. This would be 120 at 60. Just like a bank. Cue ball jacks just like a bank. Two tips English, which means about three tips on the object ball. That's just like a bank. We can just keep the kick. Plus two system, we're going to do this. This is the corner we can't shoot at. If we're just going to shoot dead at the corner, we're just playing Pong, that game where you can hit perfectly into the corner, you can't. Uh, it would come back right where it started from, but you can't do that. This is a pool table. So this is plus 20 from wherever the cue ball is coming from. This diamond here would be plus 30. This plus 40, plus 50, plus 60, plus 70. Wherever the cue ball's coming from. So what we're going to do is we're going to look. We want to try to hit this ball right here, the one ball or the four ball. Excuse me, the four ball. And we see that it's in front of 35. We're going to shoot. Our coming from diamonds are going to be on top of the rail. Our shooting at plus numbers are on top of the rail. But the eventual diamond number that we're shooting at is in front of the rail. So this is a, in front of 35 would be the four ball. And when you're shooting. But the cue ball always has to be below the object ball for this system to work. With the cue ball, you're always shooting two rails into an object ball that's a higher number than the cue ball. And here, when you're shooting at anything below 45, and short of that, and the cue ball is below that, you're going to use one tip of running English at 1 o'clock on the cue ball. So you go 15 at plus 20. I'm going to hit this with just a little bit of running English, not much at all. Kind of a flat ball. Shoot it right in front of 35. There we go. That's a good hit. Now we're down here. We don't know where the cue ball is at. We want to hit this ball here. We want to find out how to hit this ball here. We see that if, if we go two rails with that cue ball, we can come to here without touching that ball. But we can't come to here without touching that ball, but we're going to scratch if we come to here. Hit this side of the ball and scratch. So say we want to cut this ball in the side pocket. Go two rails or towards the side pocket and let the cue ball come this way. So we can see that if we go two rails of the cue ball and hit in front of here, it's 
almost in, from this angle here, it's almost in front, impossible to hit in front of here. Let's go in front of here just to make sure we hit on the good side. In front of here, if that ball wasn't there, the cue ball can't hit here without hitting the 11 ball. It cannot hit here without hitting this red 11 ball. So we see that we're in front of 49. That's 0 up to 49. So I'm going to make this, this and that total 49. So we're at, here's 24 at 20, that's 44. Here's 27, and this is plus 30. So this is plus 20, this would be like plus 28, 27. Plus 28 is 55, 20 to 49. Okay. 26 plus, 20, that's 45. 26 plus 27. 26 plus 22. 48, excuse me. 26 plus 22 is 48. 23 is 49. That should be perfect right there. 26 plus 23. Maybe we're going to 59. Maybe we're going to stick with that. No English, I guess. The other side pocket. There's 25, 26 at plus 22. 48. Flat and perfect. Right there. Coming in front of 55. And we're coming in front of 48. So we say, see this table's playing like a half a diamond long right now. To make up for that, we're going to allow a quarter of a diamond on the first rail. Okay? You have to shoot a couple of these shots to every table because if it's, if it's cold, it's going to play shorter. If it's hot, it's going to play much longer. If it's new cloth, it's going to play much longer. That ball would have been short. It would have been on this side of the ball and long on new cloth and in Vegas. But since we're in Florida with high humidity and the air conditioner on, it's going to play, it's going to bounce off more. It's not going to slide as long like it would with new cloth. So we're going to allow a quarter of a mile diamond adjustment. Our total, let's just do a total of five points total adjustment which would be a quarter diamond in the first bill. We'll just make the total five points less. So here we're coming in front of 48. So to make that reasonable, we're going to come in front of 43. Because it's playing long. So to make these two total 43. We just found that, that out with two shots. Here's 25 at 20 is 45. Go a little bit longer. Here's 25 at 18. On the English, that should be 43 right there. Hit on the good side. So by shooting a couple of shots, we found out the table's playing a half a diamond long, which is just, it's easy to allow for that in our total. We just subtract five tenths from our total, from our object ball total. This object ball's out here. It doesn't matter where the key ball's at. I'm going to hit this object ball. And you see that by hitting this object ball, if you come through here, you cannot hit here two rails without hitting that object ball. It's impossible to hit here two rails with a cue ball without hitting that object ball. So that's in front of 65. So we're going to play for in front of 60 because it's playing a little long. So we'll make our total 60. So we're at, that's 50 plus 20. We've got to go to 10 right there. This is plus 20. We can get into 10 at this angle. We can get into 10 in here. It's 48 plus, 49 plus 10 is 59. That's pretty good. Now uh, here you go to one, one o'clock English, one little bit towards 130, perfect combination of follow and English. Make the ball, swish. Sometimes that happens and the other guy might get a little weak. Okay, here we are, here we go. Here's the same theory of English that you use when you're below the side, below 45. It's one tip of running English. The same thing happens 
when you get past 80, this is the eighth diamond, and you get past here with the object ball, it's the same thing. You don't use one tip of running this. Instead of the 130 we just used, you're going like towards 1230, a little bit past the middle of the cue ball towards the right side, just a little bit past. And we see we're coming at, this is, this is 90, this is 100. This is legitimate 100 with a two rail system. In front of this is legitimate 100 with a two rail system. So we want to hit 100. We're coming from 80. 80 at 20s in here. That's not behind the cue ball. It is 80. 81 at 20s, 101. It's, that should make it either straight on or off the bottom rail. Off the bottom rail. So this is, uh, here we go again. We'll do this out here, like this. Up here. Again, we want to see that this, these angles are just like a U. It's like a U effect. You know, if you go just like this, you can't come through this ball and hit this rail right here. Two rails. You can't possibly shoot that cue ball, two rails, and hit this rail right here without hitting this ball. So that's in front of 66, we we'll call it. 67. Minus 5 again because the table's playing a little bit long. So we're going to call that 62. We need a total of 62 down here. This is 20 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40. There's 30 plus 22 is 52. There's, there's 30, 40. This would be 35. 35 plus 24. It's 59, we want to get to 62. It's 30, 37 plus 26, 63, right there. Right there should be 62. And it should be a mate. So that's a good hit. It's an invaluable system, a plus two system. You learn it by one shot. One shot on any table in the country, you learn how to learn this system. You shoot one shot, put this ball here, in front of 60, like that. Put the cue ball here, in front, from 40 to at 20. And when you shoot at that, right there, you'll see if the table's playing long or short. And you see it's playing a diamond on here, which is a half a diamond here. So you, your, your measurements would be in front of 55 here instead of in front of 60. We just added up to 60. And our true measurements on this table would give us 55. So we would go from 35 right here to an at 20, or from 20 to in front of 30. This is 40. At 60, this would be 35. 20 at 35 here take you to 55, which is what this would total on this table today. And this table might change every hour as people come in the door, as the air conditioner gets higher, whatever. But once you see one shot on the table, you should learn it, and you should know it until for the next hour or so, anytime your opponent takes a break, practice a couple of shots, make sure it's playing the same way it was earlier. Okay, now we're going to go into a couple of three rail systems that I invented. These are wonderful. Uh, this is the, uh, I'm going to show you the, uh, the, the tracks that some of us already know. And first, the first thing I do when I come to a strange table is I, I check out how the table is playing three rails. Before a tournament match, you'll see me do this at any tournament you see me at. I'll, I'll take a cue ball, come at, bring it from the middle of the corner pocket. She would high left at the second diamond and see if it comes out at the other corner pocket. That's 1030 English right at the corner diamond, right at the second diamond, a long smooth follow through and see if it comes out. It came out at 80 from 82, so it's playing a little short. It was at 82 and a half here, and uh, we shot it at uh, 20 here. So today, we're gonna shoot at 18. It's gonna connect me to that corner pocket. But this is, these are the connecting, I'm going to show you right now all the connecting diamonds for your table, regardless if these come up, all come up of 80, normally they'll go in the pocket. We shoot from the corner pocket at 20 with 
1130 English, long follow through, running English, and see if we can make it scratch. Yeah, we just barely got there. That's 80. Now we'll use, from that, from that zero right here, anything that you minus from there, if you minus five, that's going to be doubled from your coming from spot. If you plus five to it, that's going to be plus 10. If you plus a half a diamond to it, from your coming from spot. So here's 70, seventh diamond. We know that 20 took us to the corner at 15. That's the connecting diamonds on almost all three cushion billiard tables, all pool tables in the country. Sometimes they're playing a little short and you're going to have to make that adjustment. But today I'm just going to show you the connecting diamonds. Whether it comes up short or not, I don't care. You'll know when you shoot it on your table. From 70, from 70, that path at one and a half, running English, will take you to the corner pocket. At 80, right there. It took us a little short like it's supposed to, like it was going to. Now we're at 60 at 10. This is also connecting diamond to the corner pocket. See here, 60 at plus 10 plus 20. 60 plus 20 is 80. This is 80. So if it comes at 80, that's, nor that's perfect, actually. If we want to come to 82, we'd go 60... At, at 9, which would be plus 22. It's 11. This is plus 11, which is actually plus 22 from where we're coming from. So if we want to make it scratch in the corner from here, go 60 at 9. But 60 at 10 is your connecting diamonds. I want you to remember that. To get to 80, 60 at 10. That's where we're going to shoot at. 60 at 10 with running English. Should take you into 80, right at 80. Here's 80 right here, right at 80. It's coming off that third rail right at 80. So this table is actually behaving perfectly. It's not playing short any longer. So this is the first thing I do. Now 50 at a half a diamond. You're the fifth diamond up. It's 50, 60, 70, 80. Fifth diamond up at a half a diamond. We'll take you there. Should take you to the same corner pocket, same 80. There you go. I stretched it a little long that time. Now, to find out where these connecting diamonds are, I'm going to get my cheap diamonds again. I'm just going to show you something here. These diamonds are all true. That's to the middle of that diamond. They're all, this is 80 again, right here where my finger is. This would be 90. 90 would go towards 25. So you're coming from 90 at 25 or two and a half away. You want to minus 10 from that to get to the corner pocket. 90 at minus 5 is coming from this angle. This would be in front of 90 here, which would be about a half a diamond away from here. In front of it, coming from here at minus, minus 10, which is minus 5 on the first rail. is a total of doubles, it doubles. The table's twice as long as it is wide, so it doubles.